Hey, what is up heroes, and welcome to some more Pokemon Alabaster version, the last episode. We left the Team Celestial hideout to take on the second gym, and we absolutely destroyed her once we did a little bit of training, got our Ampharos, and we just wrecked the gym leader so hard with Ampharos. Ooh, goodness, Voltsy. I said, wait, did you hear me calling? I did not. Managed to get into these stands in time to see your battle. We already left by the time I could uh, get out, though. Been looking for you since. Anyway, since we've both beaten Elise, and now let's have a battle. Okay, so we're gonna fight her now, and that's gonna be pretty fun. Oh, this time things are different. Don't you dare flinch me. Did a butt ton of damage. Oh, that, wow. M did like no damage. Thanks, Eevee. Please burn. Flame body it, flame body it. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, um. Let's go into Jason. She's going to become an MVP recently. And come on, at least get static or something. It doesn't really matter now, but there you go. Couldn't have got that first time, could you? Ah. Yeah, it's one Pokemon down. Three more to go. Got to be showing Jello. Will come in handy, don't really need a rain dance. A ducklet. Well, easy XP right here. Water poles, don't you dare confuse me. I should die in one hit. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Am you got Amphros as well? Ah. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, Confuse Ray. Misses the takedown. Sweet. And yeah, we're just going to start summoning some Thunder Punches. Damn right, you hurt yourself. yourself again. Nice! Hype! Your last Pokemon should be a Clefable or a Clefairy, so shouldn't be too hard. Come on, hit yourself one more time. Snap out of confusion, that's fine I guess. Thunder Punch me back. And I'll just finish you off with a Thunder Punch. Okay, bring your last Pokemon. Last time I lost you, and I shouldn't have lost, but now, oh now things are different. Things are so different. Ooh! Got Orange Berry, but this Thunder Bunch should finish you off. No, it didn't. Okay. Well, next one will. Oh, yeah, the wish came true. Cool. Actually, kind of glad I got this Ampharos because it is so good. So good. But the only reason we're actually completing this game so far is because of Ampharos. Like, at the start, it was because of uh, Corona being such a high level, but. Now got XP share it makes life so much more easier to train. You are frightfully uh, strong, Voltsy. Let my guard down, I guess I have to train but harder. Oh, am I interrupting? Not at all. Oh, good. Shall we find those kidnapping Pokemon then? Find what? What are you talking about? Where are you going? So, now we need to figure out where to look. I think we might need to... Oh, it's a Zorak! What just happened? Somebody fill me in. Those two Pokemon have been harassing the town. Now, thanks to... Wait, my memories are back. Faultsy, you... You're my apprentice. No! Can we have lost my apprentice in battle? This is the ultimate shame. Faultsy, what is she talking about? Huh? You joined Team Celestial? Hmm, must say, I didn't expect that. And nothing against it, though. I only hope you don't plan on uh, being subservient to others. If you plan on being part of Team Celestial, I expect to see you at its leader. As part of my Elite Four, your answer to me, and me alone. Don't get ahead of yourself. You guys beat me in a closed environment, but in the real world, I would overwhelm you both 11 times out of 10. You know, it's not common knowledge that you, a gym leader, are a part of Team Celestial. Wonder how you'd feel if I changed that. I can't imagine that the Pokemon League would approve. You wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. Just felt like teasing you a bit. Faulty is cool with you, then so am I. <laughs> Faulty. If you want uh, feats of strength and battling prowess, then Admin Indigo is your man. If you want to learn about stealth and trickery, I can teach you things that you'd never even imagine. Sunny deserved that badge, but I hope you don't underestimate my abilities because of it. Well, until next time. I am always going to be part of Team Celestial in this game because that gym leader right there uses a Zorark. You know, use, you, if you use Zorark, me and you are best friends. That's all I can say. But finally got that item as a paralyzed heal. 
cool. So we can't actually go through this way, can we? Because of, uh, you need a bike. So we need to get a bike from somewhere. Uh, wait, can we go down that way? We should do it under the bridge. We need a rock smash. Um, okay, let's go try to find a bike. I need to heal up as well. Uh, where is a bike shop? This is going to be fun to look for. Unless we don't go that way. Uh, let me check my poker gear. Well, the bicycle shop is there. So surely I can't get to where I need to go without... There's like a surf across maybe? I have, I have no idea right now. To find out what um, HMO I can actually use for being the gym leader now, but I have no idea. Maybe I can get a bike from somewhere. I did join Team Celestial. That's the uh, the bar. Can't go down that way. Okay, so I think what we want to do is try and get to Cassandra. And the way to do that is Rock Smash, or maybe we can get around it. We'll give it a proper look. I'm pretty sure I can maybe get past it through here. Maybe. So luckily I've been all the trainers here, so that's pretty good. Here's a dead end this way. I'm a reap! Uh, I'll run away from you. No, it's not a dead end. Okay, that's good. Can't jump down there. Oh, I think the Hypno and that stopped me from going that way, actually, now I think about it, so... Yeah, they did! So, let's try and go that way. I'm gonna beat this thing, though, because I want to get the, um, the XP. I'll get level 28 if I beat this. Oh, it's gonna take, like, three embers, though. Come on, don't miss an ember, don't miss an ember, don't miss an ember! Ah, oh, you missed an ember! Ah, I'm just gonna run away. Stupid Taylor's annoying. Okay, so, we should be able to go down here now. Kathy's under the bridge, can go down this way. What are you doing? Glad you can make a vault, so you have to make sure you don't fall too far behind after all. Well, let's keep moving. Wait, I had to follow you? I was not paying attention. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh, here we go, here we go. Can't get to that. Gotta fight this trainer though, it looks like. That's fine. Oh, you have two gym badges? Okay, I've decided I want to test my strength against you. That's how we get to the next town. Gotta take the shortcut, because we're not across the bridge, Cleveland. Got a bike. Lasso, he's got a skitty. Skitty, eh? Uh, take an ember. Come on, burn it, burn it, burn it. That's nah, fine. It's kind of a struggle bug. You're gonna ember me back now, aren't you? Oh, we're slightly under leveled. This is not good. Attack fail, that's fine. 28, and Jello grab an XP and a Purloin. Um, now nah, we'll just stay in. Struggle bug. Oh wait, no, it's uh, dark type, isn't it? For some reason, I always think Purloin is poison. It's just the color reminds me of uh, Skunky a little bit. That's probably why. I don't want me to die, so I'm gonna go switch into Jason, so I can go for a nice Thunder Punch. You know, for home tools, I could have gone for Struggle Bug. Damn it. I feel like by the time we get to the third gym, the last gym in this beta, we're gonna be uh, quite a high level. And for baby, we better stay in because last time I fought a, well, I fought a um, Floette level 28, which was just. Oh, that was the most frustrating battle ever. I think it was like four episodes ago I fought that. That girl with the uh, fl floette I couldn't beat because it was such a high level and kept going for Wish. It was awful. It was awful. So I think what I'll do, I'll just train Pokemon up using XP Share. Just keep Jason up. We'll get Jello level 30, then we'll put XP Share on there, like Wendy. We'll get cr these three level 30 and then we'll work on Paddy and Tiger. Because right now we need everyone to be 30. I think this is the right way to go. Maybe. 
My reap! Gonna run away from anything I can't beat in like one hit. Hi, you wanna battle? It's kinda scary jumping across those rocks. We're good to work, but even so, slipping and falling into the cold water wouldn't be fun. It'd be pretty funny to watch though, to be honest. Reminds me of, um, there was a show called, uh, is it Tenkeshi's Castle? Tenkashi's Castle? Something like that. Oh my god, I used to watch that all the time. Come home from school, stick it on, and there was this, like, um, one challenge where basically they'd run across, like, stones like that, and some of them would stink into the water, and oh my god, watch them fall into, into like, the pond was just hilarious. That show was great. I don't think they make it anymore. Probably not. I, mean, I used to watch that good, like, maybe 10 years ago, I want to say. Yeah, they wouldn't still make it. They should start making it again, though. That would be great. I mean, you know, they probably still do. It was a Japanese game show, but, um, like, we had, like, an English commentator commentating over it. It's pretty funny. Oh, okay, got a nice error. It's just, uh, bam. That was weird. Some moves don't like properly work on the uh, this fan game, so like a little script error coming up. Like that. Just gotta press OK. And uh, there it goes. It'd be nice if I could not hurt myself, it really would. Oh my god, let me just play the game. Oh, to the mouse on the screen. So oh my god, seriously, stop hurting yourself. Oh, it's broken so Roselia can't attack. Okay. Oh, well, this is good. I'm going to keep on the screen for this battle. So you're going to see a flash of mouse. Because I'm going to have to keep pressing OK because this Roselia cannot attack. It's broken. Which is kind of good for me, so free XP, but... It is really annoying. Okay, there we go. 24 and Jello 26. Sweet. I thought I'd train Jello up just in case I needed like a water type. Pretty bad. Um, can we get this TM? We can. Got round, yay! There's Cassandra, sup? Before I saw a pretty rare Pokemon, so I'm looking around a bit. You can go ahead if you want. Okay. Also, in the grass, I found an Oshawa when I was doing a bit of training last episode, I forgot to say, but... I mean, I, I want my Jello. Jello's better than Samurai, kind of. Double battle coming up, okay, so let's go. Wendy and Jason. I've an ideal specimen. Allow me to convey, okay, when it comes to Pokemon, you should always be on your guard. Always be on your guard, remember that, folks. Alright, nice double battle, Mime Jr. and a Lillipup. This should be pretty easy. Thunder Punch and Peck. Just double team in. Oh, maybe not. For that double team, my uh. And for us, that'd be pretty bad. Okay, Cricketune. On the punch and peck. Ouch. Hoping the next town will actually sell like super potions or some good stuff, because this game's marts kind of suck. That's a lie. They don't kind of suck. They do suck. They suck a lot. So much. Ah, oh, that sucks. Critical hit. It would have killed me anyway, but still. Can I actually hit the Cricketune? Ouch. Um, it's gonna jello. Thunder Punch. Doesn't really matter who we hit. They're both gonna go down. But Jason's gonna die, so that's cool. Ouch. All that XP for me though, 2,000, damn. Alright, let's go into Paddy. Paddy loves XP. Paddy's actually pretty fast as well, so... Pretty happy with that. Pampor. No, oh, Jello! Oh, there's a little bit of HP. Pretty sure in this, oh, about to say, in this fan game, maybe Water Pulse doesn't confuse Pokemon because I have not got the confusion once, and there we go, we actually get it when I kind of need it. But unfortunately, it's not going to work, I'm not going to get the confusion off that turn. Oh well. 
Got Corona. Might see what uh, Pokemon I can find around here. Maybe try and capture something a bit higher than Tyro because I don't think I'm going to use him. I bought him. I don't bought him. I I um caught him because I thought it might help against uh, the gym leader because obviously fighting type against her would just absolutely smash her. But like, just yeah, it's kind of useless. She got a fake out. To be fair there. If I lose now, it's all setting up a fake out. But it's fine. Get out of here, Tiger. So I'm about Paddy right now. Paddy came in clutch against Pseudo Widow. Like, last episode, I thought I was gonna lose, and I was like, you know what, I'll just kinda maybe stop talking a little bit, and then I was like, wait, Paddy could actually do this. Oh my god, Paddy! Paddy, you legend! It was, uh, it was pretty good. Got an Aoife. I need to avoid that trainer there, though. I'm hoping once we get past him, we'll be at the, um, be at the town so I can heal up. Execute, level 22. Right, so no, I went, I went, I pressed down, I pressed down. He did not go down. Okay, so I got past this guy this time. Didn't have to fight him, which is pretty good. And let's explore this area. Wow, this is looking really nice. Oh, I did not know that pattern of that kid. I thought he was going back down. Did not think he'd turn around. That is a pretty cool inner tube you got there. <laughs> I got Pidgey. Um, well, I'm gonna go for a nice uh, thunder punch. Easily take that bad boy out. Ah, stupid feather dance. Making you live. Lucky Pidgey. Super lucky you are. Okay, and a combi. Bug by Mrs. Sick. And one more Thunder Punch should finish you off. And we got the Paralysis. Hell yeah! Amphrost too good! Amphrost is too good. Now if only we can Mega in this game, I would get Mega Amphrost 100%. Actually, I don't know if we can or not. That is something I need to check if we can Mega in this game. Because if we can Mega, it'll make this fan game a little even better. I mean, it's... Oh, level 27 Wingo? I didn't even get that. Can't escape. I should have just Thunder Punched it. Like, seriously Wingo, I could just one Thunder Punch and you'll be dead. I was gonna let you live, but no, I had to die. Anyway, yeah, this fan game is amazing. The Mega Revolution will just make it even better. Like, ah, oh, it doesn't need it, but it'd be nice. It'd be nice if I had it. There's an Abra just chilling. Abra fled. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, hi. Avolti, there you are. Who's that? Oh, is that you, little brother? It's been so long since I've seen you. Or rather, that is, in person. I did see what you did at the Neijo Academy, taking on Team Tectonic with that group of kids. You're as reckless as ever. Guess you must have been the ones to take out Abra and Hypno, as well as seeing, uh, as, well seeing as you came through this way. Speaking of which, who might this be next to you? My name's Cassandra, I'm Volti's friend. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Friend, huh? Volti, I've been travelling through the region for a while now. I've seen so much of my journey. This world can be a cruel place. Our family is living proof of that. I've seen so much corruption and violence in my travels, but I've also seen the good that people can do when they work together. That's one thing I've learned since I left home. If you try to make a difference yourself, you only fall on your face. If you can find someone that you can depend on, and who depends on you, you'll find that you can do great things. My goal in life has always been to help make, more, make a more peaceful world, to make it so that everyone has the capability to defend themselves. Finally starting to believe that, this, that it can happen. If you have anyone you can really trust, then you should really cherish that. I would like to talk some more, but I'm afraid I'm a bit of a hurry. Go around and see more of the Nature region. I'll seek you out once you get stronger. I know you'll be a fine brother. Until then. He looks evil. That's your sister. Wait, sister? I thought, my, that was, I thought that was my brother. I thought it was a dude. Okay, and a Pokemon. A Pokemon have got to be frighteningly strong. Man, I wish I asked to see them. I wasn't thinking. But yeah, I'd say out of the people I've met, her presence is second only to the fortune teller. By the way, did you meet the fortune teller? Get weird vibes from her. Her aura is... I'd almost call it inhuman. She's really good at uh, what she does, though. So if you get lost, I'd recommend giving her a call. Hey, Volti. I think this will be where we part ways. I've seen a lot travelling with you, and it's been fun. Had to find two more people to help us storm the Pokemon League after all. And Robin. Well, who knows where he is. But I'll find him. I'm sure you can take care of yourself from here on out. See you, Volti. 
see you. Well, we met the fortune teller. That was uh, the one who saved us. That is uh, the one who looks like Caitlyn from the Unova League. Six years ago. Ooh. Hmm, so you want to know why your sister and mother were fighting? Well, I think you're old enough. No, six, six, six years ago I was six, so I'm old enough to know why they're fighting. Okay. You want to know the answer? There's a story that I'll have to tell you. Go ahead and sit down. This may take a while. Now where to begin? Do I get, like, pictures? Hey. Did you know your mother was once a very famous Pokemon breeder? Not only that, but she was what you call a bioengineer. Uh, how to explain what that is? Well, never mind that. How about this? Faulty, do you know what TMs are? Haha, <laughs> of course. I, I knew you would. You're an intelligent young boy, and you've been raised very well. Your mother studied the traits of many different Pokemon, and from that made lots of TMs. Even making one TM is amazing, but your mum made 20 in all. It got such that people came from all around the world just to see her. Unfortunately, some of them were mean people who wanted the things that she made all for themselves. What does it have to do with your sister? Well, slow down a bit. I'm getting there. Your brother and sister already know the story, but you don't since you weren't born yet. Don't want to be the only one who doesn't know, right? So listen carefully. Diana, you really should reconsider our offer. It's in our best it's in our best interest to work together. That goes for yourself as much as for us. The Quake Corporation could make you very wealthy and prosperous if only you would. How many times do I need to say it? I won't work for your company, I'm not interested in your money. I want to be able to help all the other people and Pokemon I can I can, which I can do best when I'm not tied to a a group such as yourselves. <laughs> I assure that I assure you that the Quake Corporation has the best interest of the people throughout the region in mind. If you only agree to collaborate with us, we could Don't make me repeat myself. You are trying my patience. I will not agree to a deal with the likes of you. Come on, let's go. We aren't getting anywhere like this. <sighs> If you do casually turn down an offer from the Quake Corporation, your family must be well off. Get out. Here you have two healthy, happy children. They should be thankful to have a mother who is such a good role model, who they can count on. I said get out! You have to be careful though, there are some bad people out there. Be ashamed to hear that something. Are you deaf? I said get out of my house! Damn, my mom's a badass. Say, Haven, are we done yet? Shh, you're too loud. They hear us. This is boring. I don't want to stay here anymore. Then go back to your room. I'm not done listening. They came and friend us again. Quiet, you'll make your wake the kids. Should have told me when I first got home. We can't just sit here and let them do this. We have to contact the Pokemon League. We should do that first thing tomorrow morning. You know, that's not a long term so solution. I don't see why you say that. Even if they won't step in without proof. They definitely protect us as long as we are, as long as we like based on what you've done alone. I know you don't like it, but at this point, it needs to be done. I know that. First thing tomorrow, we will head over that way. Oh, did you hear that? Whoa, there's a bunch of fire outside and people. Get away from the window. Oh damn, Jeremy, mommy, burn them out, baby. She won't die. Not that much. Look, there's someone now. Bring your family out. A lot of you are coming with us. Dear? There's too many. I think they are surrounded the house completely. There's no way we'll be able to beat them all. Help us to come soon. Think we can wait them out? Oh, damn. No! Come on out. If you don't, I'll just kill you all. Think I care? I dare you to try me. I have a plan. Think Gengar can hold him. Can you take care of the rest? You can't mean... We don't have time. You have to take care of the children, no matter what the cost. I know. That's all there is to it, then. Did our dad sacrifice ourselves saving us, man? That's sad. Oh, damn, there's a lot of them. So you finally decided to come with us, huh? Don't count on it. Don't do anything stupid, you never beat us, all of us. We'll see. Rotom, use Flash. Give it all you got. Oh, he's got Mega Gengar. Nice. Ah, what is this? The others. Where did the others go? They're gone. You're going to be seeing them again? Somebody how find them? They couldn't have gotten far. You haven't realised yet. Surely you have. You won't be able to leave as long as Gengar and I are around. See? Gengar here wants to play a little game of Shadow Tag. Surely you guys wouldn't try to leave without entertaining us first? Oh, so you're trying to be smart, huh? 
Well, that means that we'll beat you first before finding the others. If you think you can, why don't you try? Don't you worry about that. Oh, God. Get ready, Gengar. We need to hold them off as long as we can. Hopeless drivel from a dead man. Come on, guys, let's attack. Gengar, use protect. Again, use protect again. Oh, that's kind of bad. Thanks to your dad, the rest of your family managed to get away. Mo went to the Pokemon League Department of Information in Squall City for a time, but she ultimately decided that it would be safest to raise you guys far from anyone who was searching for her. That is why now we live so deep in the forest, far away from any other towns. Now, to answer your question, your sister resents your mother for choosing not to join the Quake Corporation at the risk of her family. She views your mum as responsible and part of your father's death. Of course, things naturally get emotional when these topics come up. Your mother loved your father very much, after all. Telling you all of this so that you don't say the wrong thing to your sister or your ma or your mum. You understand? In fact, you shouldn't talk about anything I've said to anyone else. It won't do any good. Once you go on your Pokemon journey of your own uh, and see the world for yourself, then you can talk to your sister or mother about it. But then you have to gain the uh, proper life experience, I think. So can you keep the secret for me? Tomorrow should be a busy day. Doesn't seem like a story you should tell your uh, grandchildren before bed. Huh. Well, that little uh, flashback was pretty cool. This town is looking awesome as well. It's got to be a gym here as well. It's a card shop. Where's the Pokemon Center? It's got to be around here somewhere. That doesn't lead to a Pokemon Center. I don't know where Pokemon Center is. Well, I'm going to end this bar right here. Next episode, we're going to explore this town. If there is a gym, we'll take it on, and that will be the end of the demo. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Peace.